Hello, welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today I have a review for you. It is a notebook, and it is based on the Midori Traveler's Notebook, a very, very popular notebook system. This is the standard Midori Traveler's Notebook in brown. This is the passport size Midori Traveler's Notebook. I've reviewed both of these. I like both of these very much, and so do many, many, many other people. And because these have become so popular, there are many companies out there who are making, I won't say knockoffs, but journals that are inspired by the Midori Traveler's Notebook. There are people who have Etsy shops who make inserts for the notebooks, people who make their own versions of the notebooks. There are people out there who make their own just at home. They'll get a piece of leather. It's a fairly simple concept to make a traveler's style notebook. And there's a company called Nomads that contacted me and wanted me to review one of their notebooks that is very much Midori Traveler's Notebook inspired. And here it is. The Vintage Leather Notebook Journal by Nomads. This is available on Amazon.com. And I think what we're gonna do, we'll get on the computer, I'll show you their storefront on Amazon, we'll talk about the price, the features, and then we'll get in close with this notebook. We'll take a look at the quality, the components, the things that go into this Nomads Traveler's Notebook. And finally, we will decide if it is a viable alternative to the original Midori Traveler's Notebook. Here we are on the product page on Amazon.com for the Vintage Leather Notebook Journal by Nomads. Durable leather, ideal for writing, drawing, sketching, and found measures. Refillable diary for men and women, bonus insert, ziplock bag. Basically, I just wanted to show you this because you can see here the price, $27.99. The original Traveler's Journal is usually around $40 right now. I think the lowest price I can find here on Amazon is $42. So that is significantly more than the Nomads Journal. Um, and it just talks about some of the features here. It has three blank inserts. It comes with a little Ziploc bag, also a card holder, and the refills here are all Midori refills, but they will all fit this Nook by Nomads. Now, what is this here? This looks interesting. It looks rather familiar. Let's get, get on the main page here. Bam. What? Huh? What the hell? What's going on? What? So this is the Leather Notebook Journal, refillable, perfect for writing, gifts, fountain pen, user, traveler, professional, diary, classic, vintage style, by Wanderings. What's the difference here? Well, there's a little compass in the corner. There is no compass in this corner, but it's the exact same picture, the exact same notebook. My guess is that there's somewhere, probably in China, that makes these journals. Companies buy them. They basically brand them for their own company and release them as their own product. That doesn't mean it's a horrible product or anything. It just means that you're probably going to see a lot of these that look very similar, made by different companies or not made by different companies, but branded by different companies. So this Wanderings version, which also includes three inserts, also includes the pocket. Maybe it doesn't have, this one does not have the Ziploc pocket. Okay. And the card carrier. So, and it's also a little bit more expensive. This is $29.99 as opposed to $27.99 for the Nomads version. So maybe if you want a little embossed compass logo and don't mind not getting the Ziploc bag slash card carrier, you might go for this version. But the Nomads version is cheaper. It does come with a few more accessories. And of course, as usual, you can use all the Midori inserts for this notebook as well. But now let's take a closer look at the notebook. I want to really see how the quality compares to the original Midori, the quality of the leather, the quality inserts, whether or not it actually is good for fountain pens, as they say here. So let's take a look. Now the Nomads comes wrapped in plastic, placed in this box. Nothing too fancy, but we're not that interested in the packaging. I know that with the Midori, it's sort of an event when you get the Midori, the way it's packaged very beautifully, it's presented very well. This is a little more bare bones. But here we have the journal, and already you can see it has quite a bit in common with the original Midori. It is a piece of leather held together with elastic, with various pieces of elastic inside that hold in the inserts, just like a Midori, but a little different, and we'll get to the differences here. It does have this little leather thong on the elastic, and the elastic is inserted in the spine of the notebook, as opposed to the Midori which has it inserted right in the back. Some people would much prefer this in the spine because they think that with the elastic coming out the back that it can cause some problems if you're trying to write, if you're like on the last page, you'll have that little protrusion, that little bump. So some people prefer 
coming out of the spine. I actually don't myself. Um, I like the way it closes, opens and closes easier this way. I think this is a little more of a hassle for some reason for me, but that's just my own personal preference. I know many people much prefer the elastic this way. So that could be a bonus for you already. And it does come with this little leather piece, which I kind of wanted to get for my Midori to put right here, something that's a little easier to grab. This leather piece also could double as a pen holder. Now it does have a tendency so you can put your pen in there, it holds it pretty securely, but it could have the tendency to sort of swallow your pen. But I still think it's a viable thing. And you could actually move this thong over to the front, like so, if you so desired. Um, maybe hold your pen in that way. It's not quite as secure as it is when it's on the front like this. But anyway, that's something to consider. One thing I will say when you're opening and closing this, it's easy for this to get twisted up and sort of bent out of shape. So you kind of have to finagle this a little bit, but that's a minor quibble. Now, what about the leather flap itself, the body of the journal? I have to say, when I compare it to the Midori, it's not as good quality. The leather on the Midori is really nice. Um, I, the first thing that struck me when I first got my first Midori was how nice the leather was. It's a really beautiful, supple, thick leather. This isn't as nice. It's still pretty soft. Um, it just doesn't have quite the nap that the Midori has. I'm sure it will age okay. I'm not, you know, I've had this for, man, maybe even two years now. I'm not exactly sure. Um, and it just has this beautiful patina scratched up and it just gets so smooth and weathered and worn. It looks really nice. But even when it was new, I could definitely tell a difference between the leather quality between the Midori and this Nomad's journal. But you know, it's not bad. And for $27.99 on Amazon as compared to, I think it's around 42 for the Midori most of the time, you're gonna give up a little bit in terms of the leather quality. But it does come with three inserts as opposed to the one blank insert that the Midori comes with. And these are sort of a cream colored paper, not super smooth. Um, and the way it feels, I have my doubts as to how it's gonna take a fountain pen, but we're gonna test that a little bit later but three inserts as well. That's a little bonus over the Midori. I'm not sure if they're as high quality as the Midori inserts, but you do have more paper. Zipper pocket slash card holder. Now this is very similar to the one in the Midori. I don't know if maybe it's even the same manufacturer. I'm not sure, but here's the Midori version. Um, you can see it looks quite similar. Where's the end of this thing? Actually, no, the Midori version just has a pocket on the other side as opposed to the card holder that this one has. So that might be a bonus for you. So it has two more inserts and a pocket, which is more than the Midori comes with. But how is the paper on this? Well, let's check. I'm gonna get my piece of blotting paper because I have my doubts as to how well this paper is gonna do. I have a feeling it's gonna bleed a little bit. We shall use, actually I do not post this pen, do I? No, I don't. This is my Pilot 823, beautiful pen. Let's just draw some squiggly lines here for a minute. Get a nice patch of ink. Yo, let's see. Well, there's a bit of bleed. There's a bit of show through. Um, just the way this paper feels, it almost feels like construction paper, if you know what I mean. It's not the nice, smooth, heavy gauge paper that you would get out of the Midori. The Midori inserts are actually pretty damn good in terms of fountain pen usability. So you're giving up a little bit in the paper quality, but of course, all the Midori inserts that you know and love will fit into this notebook just fine. Now, another major difference between this and the Midori Traveler's Notebook is the way that the elastic bands are configured. On the Midori, we have the classic little tin clasp that holds a piece of elastic. Um, mine is kind of configured differently because I have modified mine, but normally there would be one piece of elastic that's sort of looped through here, and then you would put your inserts in. You could hold other ones in with rubber bands. This one, if we rip everything out of here, 
Okay, so I've taken all the inserts out of the Nomads notebook and you can see the way they have their elastic band configured. It's basically similar to the Midori where it just loops through. Instead of having the tin clasp, well, they do have a tin clasp on the outside, but they also have one on the inside. And I'm not a huge fan of that. It kind of gets in the way um, and they don't include the bookmark that the Midori has. You can see the bookmark is actually attached. It's that upper piece of little thread there. Um, but with the Midori, it's a little cleaner and obviously I've modified mine a bit, but basically they just, they have it looped through and the only attachment point is outside here. So the inside is kept pretty clean. Here you've got this little tin clasp here and then they include another piece of elastic with another tin clasp that they use as a way, basically like the Midori rubber band system. So they had two books attached to each other like so. One other book in the middle. I'm just bending this all up like so. And then these shoved in between. So basically using the same method that Midori uses with the rubber bands, but they're just including another piece of elastic. But the thing that kind of bugs me about that is that you've got these little pieces of metal here and you can kind of adjust them a little bit. But uh, I don't know. I don't like these little dongles hanging out too much. Again, your mileage may vary. It might, might, might not be something that bothers you at all. But all in all, it's not a bad alternative to the Midori. The paper that it comes with, a little lighter, not as great with fountain pens, but it does come with three inserts. You do get this zipper pocket slash card holder, which is nice. The leather is not quite the same quality as the Midori, but it's still perfectly fine. I'm sure it'll last. And something that may be a bonus for a lot of people is the fact that the elastic comes out of the spine. The closer is on the spine as opposed to the back of the notebook, which is something a lot of people do to their Midoris. They modify theirs to have the elastic come out the spine. So if you're someone who prefers that, you've already got a traveler style notebook pre-configured in that way. So there you are, the Vintage Leather Notebook Journal by Nomads, a viable lower cost alternative to the Midori Traveler's Notebook. For $27.99, you are giving up a little bit of quality in terms of the leather and the manufacturer. There are some things though that I like more on the Nomads Notebook, and there are things that I like a little less than I do on the Midori Traveler's Notebook, the original. But you can always use all the inserts that you have in your Midori or for the Midori you can use in the Nomads. And if you are looking for a lower cost alternative to the original Midori, I think this one is viable. $27.99 on Amazon.com as of the recording of this video, the Vintage Leather Notebook Journal by Nomads. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been your good friend Bradley. You've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. I'll see you later.